this post on Reddit where uh some adult he made a Roblox account for his kid or whatever. It's a seven year old kid and he put in like seven years old in the Roblox login page. And the first games that he was greeted with were these games. Yeah, it's it's not really good. <laughs> these games are just terrible, bro. Wait, let me go check out the actual Reddit post. Look at this. Skitty B toilet morphs, uh RB something something, but I I assume it's a trash RB. That's that prison game, the prison police game that all the kids have played, which is basically just an RB and also the escape head RB. And I don't think any of these games are good to be honest. I don't think I'll give even a three to any of these games. All these games are technically just trash. It sees the age of seven, recommends me kids games. It sees me as 18 plus, recommends me kids games. And I thought this was really weird to be to be honest. Wait, I'm, I'm still alive. I literally went AFK for like two minutes. And when I look at my own recommendations, I also see like avatar, catalog avatar creator, the border experience card right now. Nothing, please donate. Parkour Reborn Alpha and Pet Simulator 99. Other than Parkour Reborn, I don't really see myself playing any of these games to be honest. Okay, what else did they recommend me? There's so many recommendations now. I have no clue how they curate this in the first place. Like, how do they know which games are actually good for you? For example, the Russian Sleep Experiment WW, you gotta play that one. Possessor looks really nice. Alright, let me go down and see if there's any good games. Nightlight, I've heard of this before but I've never played it. Which, what good games are there? I mean, there's a few good ones. The trolley games are really nice. I think you should go play it. Office, Identity Fraud, Operation Siege, these are all really good games. But I think pretty much for majority of these games, they're all miss in my opinion. Like I would never play a game like Roblox Titanic. Like there's millions of Roblox Titanic games. There's another low effort obby but something something game over here. And we got, oh my God, these are so annoying. Yo, these are actually crazy. You must have seen these like horror games up here. It's legit like the same thumbnail over and over again just recycle. I made a whole video about it. Why Roblox games look the same. There's probably like 20 games that have this exact thumbnail right now. Uh, is there any other good games that, that are in here? I mean, all of us are dead. Okay, that 57% ratio isn't isn't hitting in my opinion. Yeah, pretty much. I think 10% of these games I would try. Maybe even 1% that I will actually play more than once. And everything else, I'm like, nah, this isn't good. Regretivator, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, this is really good in my opinion. And so that's, it's very hard to find good Roblox games now when people they recommend games like this. Now I understand why those like Roblox shorts that recommend games, I wonder why those are so popular. I did them at one point. Legit, if you looked at the shorts and you look at like the top 10 shorts I've ever made, a lot of them are just game recommendations. And the reason why I was able to find these games in the first place was because I heard it from like either a friend or I just got really lucky. Like I just spammed in like a couple of words into the Roblox search bar and see what's up. I feel like 99% of people won't really have the effort to do that. They won't really put in effort to go find a Roblox game. So they would just rather go scroll on TikTok or they find a Roblox game that they can actually play. I now know why those are so popular now. Literally, because they, this game, these are the games that you're being recommended. Like don't call it. 3 a.m. Bro, Roblox, <laughs> why are you smoking? And I've never played a pet simulator game in my life. Why is it recommending me pet simulator? If you look at like the algorithms of other social medias, like let's say YouTube or TikTok, I don't know. When I go, I had to turn off my YouTube recommendations because I was getting addicted to it at one point. I turned it off like somewhere around early this year. Yeah, I turn off my YouTube recommendations. If it, like this is my YouTube channel, this is just normal YouTube. And after that, you just go to home. I set it up in a way that literally nothing pops up. I was using YouTube way too much back then. But I remember being so addicted to YouTube when I had my recommendations because they kept hitting the correct videos that I wanted to watch. Literally, it was almost scary. They could read like my thoughts and stuff. Whenever I would check out something, on Google or on my phone, literally the recommendation would pop up on my YouTube feed, on my laptop, bro. And these were like separate accounts. YouTube's recommendation system is golden, man. They always find the best videos that you're able to watch, but this isn't really the case for Roblox, to be honest, like I have no clue how they did the recommendation system for Roblox because most of the games that you see on the front page are pretty much trash. So this is the Natural Disaster Survival Mountain or uh, Volcano thingy, but this one is like OP as hell. It's like twice as big. But if I stay here, I'm not gonna die, to be honest. This trick works every single time. Roblox pretty much has a very terrible recommendation system compared to YouTube, which is good or or bad depending on how you want to look at it. Like for example, it took me a long time to really stop scrolling on let's say Instagram or YouTube. I've been off Instagram for like 
a couple of months now, but the habit of getting to play Roblox is much easier to break than the habit of scrolling Instagram. Because Instagram, bro, it was holding me because every video that they showed me was so funny and it was a hit. But it was so easy for me to run out of Roblox games to play because the games that they recommended me were pretty much trash. So it's how you look at it. If you want to decrease your Roblox playing time, this is good. But if you're actually trying to increase your playing time and actually trying to get some good games in, then yeah, this is a bad problem. This is really bad. Now I understand, bro. Now I literally understand. Wait, let me just go over to the front page real quick. The way the front page is structured, honestly, is like pretty trash. They have the most engaging, recommended for you, and avatar shops. I don't know about you, but for me personally, I have never been in an avatar shop. And if I have been, it was like a couple of years ago and I was only there for like five minutes. This is the first thing that you see. These few games are literally the most important games that you see because it's, you know, it's at the top of the front page. And these are the games that I'm being chosen. I want to test the game, which is really good. I made a whole review on it. That game is really good. Don't trust the rating, bro. The rating the game is actually pretty good and it's actually really fun. Hide and Sneak, Kampong Horror Stories, Club Life, Family, RP thingy, and then we had Pet Simulator 99. Other than this, pretty much all of these games are trash. <laughs> I don't even have to look at it. You know, do I have to review all five of these games to say that they're trash? Pet Simulator 99 is basically... Okay, I'm gonna go on a rant about Pet Simulator here, but basically Pet Simulator 99 is just a reskin, Pet Simulator X, and the only thing that that makes Pet Simulator 99 better from what I have heard from like actual Pet Simulator players is that Pet Simulator 99 is less play to win and I don't know how is that a bonus to be honest like a game should be expected to not be pay to win in the first place and if a game is less pay to win but it's still pay to win like how is that even a bonus? And looking at my recommendations page, I don't know, they just, I feel like they don't really cater to you. When you think about recommendations, it's supposed to be unique to you. You know, recommendations are supposed to be this one thing that's catered to you and the thing that's very unique to everybody. Everyone's recommendation page needs to look different compared to one another. And my balloon just died. Are you serious? For you log on to like your friend's YouTube account or you log on to your own YouTube account, obviously the eight videos that you're gonna be shown are gonna be very different, but this doesn't really happen in Roblox actually. So these are my recommendations. Look at this. Drag Project, Blade Ball, Brookhaven, Blocks Roots, Berries, Prison Run. These are the games that Roblox expects me to like and it's recommended for you. This is for me. And I bet you guys look on your own front page as well. I bet these games will also appear as well on like at least the first row. These games will legit appear in the first row. I haven't played any role play game since like 2017. Block, I'm not even a big fan of anime games. Literally, I have think in the past month or so i haven't played any anime game yet and why does it still recommend me blocks fruits at like the top of the page even though i've never played it in like ever i've never gotten into blocks fruits i've gotten into anime games but those were like tower defense games they weren't even related to one piece or anything related to blocks fruits at all so i don't know why is this in here i'm gonna go look deeper into this bro and also why is avatar shops in like the third row this should be like at the very bottom to be honest why is popular worldwide at the very bottom then roblox used to have this one thing the pop popular section. I remember this. Back in the late 2010s, they had this popular section where games with the highest amount of Roblox players would be at the top. And then I don't know what did they have at like the second and third. It always had like games that always sorted from most popular to least popular. I wish they should have went back to that. I know that's bad for up and coming developers because we, I would never see a game like Mecha Mato Robot Battle. What is this game? I would never see this game if it was sorted from most popular to least popular because the most players are always the, the top 0.1% of games is just going to clog up the whole front page. But I feel like that's way better in my opinion. Because if I scroll down and I see a no name 15 player game like matching outfits and seeing all these copy and paste games, it, it, it's not going to put a good taste in my mouth. Bro. Why is this the third row? A game with one player. <laughs> one player is on the front page. Why is this possible? The only good section that I really see, like whenever I go on the front page trying to find some games, the only place that I find is up and coming. This is literally the only place where I actually can find genuinely good games. Of course, there's some trash games in here, but most of these games have a very good hit ratio. Okay, hit ratio basically means the ratio between good games and bad games. I'm sorry. <laughs> Struce it, Nightmare Elemental, do the world i've played some of these games before but i guarantee you at least some of these games are passable bro hide and seek is not an upcoming game that game has been around for like seven years now <laughs> why is it still there so what's the solution to all this? I've been complaining and just be yapping about this, but what is the literally the solution to this? I don't like leaving problems without any solutions unless 
it's something that I literally cannot fix, like a bad Roblox game, I can't fix that whatsoever. But what's the, actually the solution to this? I want solutions. And I've been thinking about this for like the past 10 minutes and I'm trying to find what good games are there. So pretty much the only way that I think that you're able to get good games is either spam Roblox support, tell them that they need to fix their shit because they really need to. They keep putting bad games literally at the front of their pages. Why does matching avatar get on the front page but a game like, I don't know, untitled tag game, why doesn't, why doesn't that get on the front page instead? Instead of a game like matching avatars with only f one player, it, it doesn't make sense to me. And the f front page is set up in a way where bad games literally succeed but the good games don't really get any spot on the front page at all where they can actually blow up. It's not set up in like a very good way. The way only the only way that I can really think of is by trusting YouTubers' recommendations and their reviews and stuff. Literally, you can check out the verdict series that I'm doing. It's like this playlist of where I just review Roblox games. You can maybe dig out and find some Roblox games from there. And also, you know, ask for the gameplay of these videos. I know a lot of YouTubers just play Obby on a bike or in some lame game like that. But I'm playing a game called Wender. This is just modded natural disaster survival. It may be to your taste, it may be not. But I've been playing this game for like a couple of days now. And I thought it was pretty cool to be honest. And I'm basically using this as like the background footage of this video. The only way is to really rely on YouTubers and friends. Having a good network of friends that know and are sensitive to a lot of games is actually really cool to be honest. That's literally, I think the only way to find real good Roblox games is to just put more effort, I guess. I think Roblox will fix something like this. I think they'll eventually improve their system because this will actually make them more money. Roblox only improves things if it gives them money and recommendations, improving their recommendations recommendations is one of the most lucrative things that they can do actually. So I think they will actually improve this in the future, who knows. Wow, this is Philippines, it literally, it, it's got a Jollibee over there. And why is there like slums in the middle? This is crazy, man. I'm sorry for all my Filipino viewers out here. I would try Jollibee though. There was a Jollibee near my mall recently, but I never tried it. I don't know, I've always just eaten McDonald's, I guess. Romanians have joined the server. What does that even mean? Hi, right, bro. This is not what I mean by Romania. Well, bro, is this this is literally an earthquake? We're not we're not gonna survive this. We're not gonna. The floor is about to start collapsing. Of course, of course. How can we even survive this? We can't. We can't even survive this. Never mind. I just did, and like twenty other people. All right, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Here's a video they can check out right now, and I see you guys later. Peace.